Hey guys, Michael Chrysler here, First Choice Power Washing, Lexington, Kentucky. Uh, today's quick video is a couple of tips on how to use the uh, Google Maps to either measure your areas or just to just to basically look at these these properties, whether it be a house or or shopping center or something. But just a couple of things that we do with Google Maps, and it's free. So the first thing you're gonna do is actually open up uh, Maps and how we do it. Uh, this right here in this format it's okay you're pulling up address and kind of see where something's at but we like the earth uh, way and uh, format so we can actually see what's going on here and I always get rid of that real quick but uh, uh, you know normally you, you go ahead and put an address in find the location uh, because you've never been there you got an estimate request came through an email or something or they called you up and gave you an address and instead of having to walk out there or drive all the way out there and look at these things or relying on uh, you know the little old lady that doesn't know what how many square foot her home is. She doesn't, um, you know, know what 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 sort of material. Maybe she don't know if it's if it's vinyl or if it's or if it's stucco. She doesn't know. But anyhow, you get those addresses. You pull up. You can pull up and look at these things. But I'm not actually gonna pull up one of my clients. I'm just gonna show you uh, one of the ways we use the maps, uh, other than just looking at the property, uh, because looking at this property is not gonna show me how much gums there or anything like that. But that's another. That's a whole nother story on, on, on pricing and adding stuff in it. But just want to show you guys because I've seen guys ask and, and I keep seeing the advice of some pretty expensive softwares and, and things like that to try to do the same thing. But I'm going to show you. This is one of our clients and, and we clean this concrete. Just this concrete here on the sidewalks. And uh, I'm going to show you how we can, you know, if, you, if you're going to price this by the square foot or you want to get a rough idea. Here's how we measure this. But you're, what you're going to do is I'm going to take one of these corners here and I'm going to right click on it and click measure distance. And then we're going to click on all the points that we want to click on or that we're wanting to clean or what you're wanting to get a uh, square footage on. And all these points. I'm actually going to come in here and just look at this the way the map is and where the shadows are. The, the satellite's actually coming in from this direction. So this. Uh, portion is going to be in right about here versus right there next to the building uh, is where it's going to be at. And like I said, it's rough and you can move it if, you, if, you, if you're not getting it dead straight on there. But once you get back to zero, there's something that happens up here in this number. It'll tell you the total distance around this thing, which was 279 feet. You can see it right here. And the total area is 2,210 square feet. So you've got a rough idea of the square footage and you know it's going to be off by an inch or two here and there maybe even a few square feet but it still gives you that rough idea I would look at that and just go ahead and round on up and say you got 2300 square foot there and this is my rate you know this is my one-time rate my day you know weekly rate monthly rate or whatever so that's one good way to do that uh, to use this tool is, is to get square footage and you say you wanted to uh, do this roof over here uh, I'm gonna, when you X out right there, that kills that. But then you can come over here and get the same thing. You know, you're not going to get your pitch, which is another calculation, but it still gives you a pretty rough estimate of what you're looking at there. And right there, we got 873 square foot on that little section of that building. Now, you know, multiply that times your your rate for a pitch. If you know the pitch or can find the pitch, maybe you can figure that pitch out through a you know street view or whatever but just basically what I want to show you is this is this uh, measuring tool which is pretty cool so uh, that's one way we can use the uh, Google Maps uh, to help us out with bidding and save us some time from actually going out there or or whatnot and then uh, if you wanted to while it was right while you had that measurement there you can actually go ahead and uh, I know on my Mac I'm not sure about you guys with a PC but um, you can screenshot. I know you can print screen with a PC, but on the Mac, it's you know Shift Command Four, and it gives me a cursor here, and I can go ahead and, and take a screenshot of that right there, and then turn around later and use that same screenshot. You can open it up in your favorite uh, um, editing or whatever, but in, you can actually send this picture if you want to. Uh, along with your proposal or something or add it to it or put notes on it or whatnot and and it kind of helps 
maybe sell the job a little bit. Hey, you know, we've already determined your square footage and, you know, here, here, here's the type of service you're going to get from us. You know, you're going to get the service that says, hey, we, we're we hip with 2015. We know what's going on and, and everything. And that's going to actually just lead me into uh, uh, my next statement on how to uh, utilize, you know, the Google Maps and satellite images for for helping you with your business and another one is that taking that screenshot we have actually I'm gonna go ahead and sh shift command four here again and I'm gonna take a screenshot here of this actual property and once we've got that we can take it and open it up in our favorite your favorite editor whether you I don't know if you use uh, Photoshop Corel draw whatever but we will take that screenshot open that picture up and then use uh use photoshop and we might just do a quick you know uh, uh basically color code this if we wanted to if this had more than one environment say i know right over here they've got some dumpster area we could highlight that area in one color and then highlight this in another color and then in the proposal say you know the the highlighted area in yellow on a monthly basis and then the highlighted area in red a uh, 90 day basis or give so that you can set up different pricing or, or different uh, uh, schedule you can say hey this is what we're gonna do every 90 this is what we're gonna do every 30 and then there's no confusion on what you're actually cleaning you know if the proposal is just for this area here then they will know that it didn't include the sidewalk coming down the way here or this sidewalk here and there's no confusion with me it's hey how come you didn't clean this well that wasn't part of it here's what we're cleaning you know this is the part we're cleaning and this is how often we're cleaning it here's the other area that's we're proposing to clean at a different a price rate and different uh, schedule rate so you know we add these to the estimate you know just add a picture and just like you would a before and after but it kind of gives a professional finishing touch there and, and it kind of shows them that you know what's going on and then if you go ahead and add add in other things that you can do with uh, with Google basically we use Google Calendar and, and, and when you put them on that schedule and then you add them to the schedule you know it really looks professional and they're, they're really liking it and they're getting notified when you're doing your cleans and when you're not uh, but anyhow that's just I, I meant to just keep this just with maps but here I keep talking about some more things but um, hopefully that helps you uh, figure out how to use that measuring tool which is kind of a cool little thing